Obviously, a great win. Um, you know, UNLV had been playing very good basketball. I thought our defense and our rebounding, especially in the first half, was terrific. Um, and then offensively, we were sharing the ball. Uh, we lost that a little bit in the second half. Uh, but I knew they'd come back. When you have one of the best players, one of the best scorers in the country, we had to be ready to go. He made some tough shots. Um, they're a really good team. Justin Webster's a terrific talent as well. But I thought... The play of the game, in my opinion, was Sebastian's tie-up. That rebound was huge. And then House, obviously, you know, Mash and House got a little bit crazy at the basket with trying to finish. House slowed down, made that big big mid-range. Uh, thank you so much to our fans. I've said it over and over and over again. We don't – I know that the pit has been – filled uh, to the rafters years ago it will be back you don't understand how good that is for where we're at as a program and our fans should be applauded um, we're rebuilding there's vaccine mandates there's a lot of things going on but you can just feel there's a little bit of buzz and so I'm happy that we ended on a, a good note for our seniors and our fans Coach, uh, you made the plays when you had to make the plays what's it say about how this team has grown to be able to finish off an opponent like that. And down another big guy. I mean, Jordan Arroyo played 18 minutes. I, di I didn't know how much he'd play at all. Um, it's all so many good learning experiences for these young guys. And um, UNLV is an older veteran group with one of the best players in the league. I mean, they swept Colorado State like it was nothing. They're very, very talented. Um, so another man down was hard, um, but I just thought our fans willed us to victory. I think we've had a lot of good moments this year, a lot of moments we can learn from and continue to build and grow off of. Can you give us an update on, on Jay and just what you do know? Sprained ankle is what I do know, uh, or I'm assuming. Um, he said he wanted to go back in, but he looked like he couldn't move. Uh, so we'll have a better feel for it tomorrow. It looked like he came down on the foot. Did, did you see what? I didn't see it. He went to go crash the glass, and then there was a timeout, and he was in pain. Um, obviously, you guys get off to a quick start with Mashburn, but they do cut it down to the three-point game. You guys are up by 21, and then they cut it down to three points late. And I'm curious what you're telling them in the huddle or what you saw in their eyes and their communication in those huddles. I mean, I, I told them, like, guys, they're, they are a really good team. They're a dynamic team with a lot of talent and well-coached. They're going to make a run. That's what good teams do. Um, I thought that Mash and House got into – they were getting wild at the basket, trying to get fouled um, when we slowed down. And, you know, you can't play not to lose. Um, but just defend and rebound. You know, they're going to push the ball. They're going to get out on makes and misses. Um, but, I mean, I, you know, we made winning plays at the end when we needed to. But you called a timeout. You slowed the tempo down. You ran a little false motion, and then Jalen just takes it to the to the hole, and that was a key, kind of a key basket. Did you feel like I got to set something up? With it? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to slow it down a little bit for sure, um, and it's a nice luxury to have when you put the ball in Jalen's hands. And one, he's a terrific uh, free throw shooter, phenomenal. Which we all jinxed him; he missed that one today. But <laughs> it was you, your fault. Um, and I was going to sub him out, and I'm like, I have a theory that if they know they're coming out, some of these guys miss it on purpose and have to come out. I don't know if House did that, but I'm like, do I sub him in or not? Um, but, yeah, it's his fault. Um, but it is a good luxury. When you have good guards, you have a chance. Now, we're, we're so decimated in the front court that it's been kind of hard to get positive momentum. But uh, I, I, I like our team. I like where we're going. Um, and it's great to get a little validation tonight. How does a win like this carry you into the conference tournament? I mean, I, what I like about it is there's teams right now who aren't playing with any spirit. You know, Eddie House came to our uh, shooter out, he go, and he said to me, made a good point. He goes, you guys are still – you still look like you want to be here, um, which we're obviously building for the future. So um, it's great to get a win. It's great to beat a team in UNLV who's uh, one of the best – you know, they could beat anybody. Um, so enjoy it tonight. Um, you know, always great to, to get our seniors out with a win. Um, I told them, I said, I'm 6-3 and three in senior nights. I, 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 we need to win this one. Steve actually had told me that. Um, but, I mean, I, again, I think it, what's great about it is our fans have been so loyal through kind of everything. Um, Nine o'clock game. Like, I didn't know what the crowd would be, but you, you could tell this place could be special. Saquon was two for two at the free throw line and one for one from three-point range. Why weren't you using 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I would have lost a lot of bets. Um, I was trying to get him out at the end of the game, too, so he could get honored, and it just happened so fast. But uh, great for him. I mean, he's such a good person, great leader, uh, dealt with a lot of adversity, always been positive, been a great mentor. So I told him, you know, we're not done yet, but whenever we are done, we got we got your back, and we're going to try to help you wherever it is that you can go. You just speak on the rest of the seniors now, and just Jordan Saquon. I know Clay didn't get in, but just – Jordan, I mean, Jordan was unbelievable. Uh, you know, I mean, seven rebounds, had two blocks. Um, he's a, you know, I know I put him on scholarship, but to have a walk-on like that is a great luxury to have, especially when you're down now four bigs. Um, but Jordan was terrific, got some traffic rebounds, made a big free throw, and uh, a great kid, you know, and he wants to keep playing basketball. Um we will help him. I would recommend him to anybody. He's a team guy. He works hard. And then Clay is crazy enough to say he wants to get into coaching. So um, we'll, we'll try to help him as well. So um, it's hard when you don't recruit the guys, you know, and they stay. Um, and I try to tell them over and over again, you are my players, and uh, you always will be my players. So very grateful, grateful for those three guys.